Hey guys, it's the Rager Dane. So I've got a little project right here. We are tiling the kitchen. Use a little doll tile. Doll tile, just a white uh, 12 by 12 inch tile. This is an open pack here, let's see. So we're putting in a basic, basic tile. Because we got it pretty cheap. This is going in a little rental house. Uh, but anyway, you've got your subfloor. As long as your subfloor is good, pretty solid. I'm using a hardy board and these are three by five sheets. You can get them at Home Depot, 14 bucks each. Even with this hardy board, uh, you're still gonna score the hardy board. Here's a little example piece right here. I've scored that. You can see that right down the middle there. All right, it, they just break. And so you, you don't have to cut on the lines, but that's how it, it works. It's pretty easy and not very messy at all so anyway this is hardy board and then each one of these has like 50 screw spots in them so as you can see like right there there's one two three and then they go through the middle there'll be little spots for them like right here there's a circle right there another circle right there there's like 50 50 or 54 i think in these so anyway i'm using inch and a quarter this is a really good subfloor uh, but it comes, these uh, screws come with their own bit. But these things really bite in. And I've countersunk a couple of them right here. So that's that's what you do right there. I'm going to keep laying this and then I'll show you the progress. Had to chop off the edge of the hardwood here because it was like jagged when they laid it. Just a terrible job. Fill those gaps and then we'll uh, start putting down some, some uh, 12 by 12 tile. So here's a little section right here. We've got these uh, corner pieces that need to be cut. So just take a piece of your hardy board, set it right there, and then we will... Cut that off right there. You have to do the same thing when you get the tile in, but at least for now you can get this laid underneath. fits underneath so yes I did mention that you can use a knife to score the hardy board but uh, for some long cuts and if you want to cut down on dust it's better to cut outside but I am using a uh, skill saw and it's sprinkling just a little bit but yes I'm using a skill saw for some longer cuts it just makes it go a little bit easier and using a uh, Diablo uh, kind of like a what was this called a hardy board i think it might have been a hardy board blade anyway so for those long cuts make sure you use a, a saw otherwise you'll be you'll be wearing blades out and you'll be wearing your hands out uh, trying to score each one but you can be done all right so you got it all laid all this hardy board is laid everywhere and now it is time to drive some of these screws in All right, here we go. Got all the screws in and this floor is almost ready for some tile. The last thing to do is to fill up some of these cracks, some of these seams. And I just happen to have like uh, something that was laying around. So this is a premix patch and level made by Henry. You can use other products, some kind of rock hard or whatever that can fill in some of these cracks. If this was a bathroom or an area that might get wet a lot, you could add a product called Red Guard, and that really coats the floor really well and um, and protects it from uh, water and leaks and stuff like that. But this is what this Henry stuff looks like. Okay, we're just going to take some of this like so and just fill in those cracks wherever there might be any cracks. Just fill those in. All right, so this is what it looks like after you put that mud on those seams. So we'll let that dry overnight. You can probably get other products that don't take as long to dry, but I just happen to have this. 
So I used it and I, you don't really need that much. So this is a, a gallon jug. I probably used about that much. All right, so I started in on the tile. Uh, what I did first was I did a, uh, a chalk line, made it kind of a little bit of a grid to know that I was going in a straight line. And originally I was going to, what you're supposed to do is start right in the middle and work your way out. But just the way it worked, I was gonna have like seven inches over here, seven inches over here for these 12 by 12 tiles. So it's gonna take an entire tile and I only have so much tile to use. So what I'm gonna do is start here, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll have a little section on the end and then I can keep using those little sections as I come down until I get to here. It'll be a full one. But that way, you can kind of save on tile. If you split it down the middle, depending on how wide your area is, you might end up using a lot more tile because there's going to be a lot more waste. It's really up to you on how you do it, but gotten going right now. Mix the mortar, put it down. Have to cut a few pieces. There's a trim section right there. I've had to trim a couple of these right here just a little bit off. And what you need is a wet saw like this. This is a Ryobi. Pretty um, cheap saw and works really well. I'll keep laying this and then I'll update you on what it looks like. Well, this is what it's going. I'm going to start down these rows, make sure I've got a good straight line, and then start going this direction. All right, so as you can see, we've got a few rows laid down. I'm going to show you now how to do uh, the tile. It's pretty simple. Once you trowel out the mortar, what I'm using is a half by half by half tooth on this uh, trowel. But we'll just take our tile and don't really push down on it, otherwise it's going to squeeze out and, and just out the sides and you'll have a mess. Plus you have to put in grout later, so you don't want your cracks filled with mortar. So what we're going to do is just kind of get this into the corner and set it down. And then we'll pull it or float it back this way. And then we'll take our spacers, which these are, I think, 3 16 it went with for this side, or for this size. And then once you do that, you just put it in there. And then if you get a roll of mortar going, you can go pretty quick. And at the same time, just checking your spacing, making sure that everything is uh, going straight you start getting out of uh, out of line you need to just kind of adjust stuff a little bit the grout when you put it in will be a little forgiving so you can be off maybe just a little bit but you're able to get back get your line back into uh, into straight but this is about how fast it goes Because if you do push on one side, then one corner could be lower. And as you can see, this, this would raise up. So you don't you want to push on it evenly and make sure it's somewhat flush and flat with the rest of the floor. So put these spacers in here. Just kind of feeling with our fingers. Last one before I have to trim. There we go, just like that. And then just check out down the line, make sure everything is somewhat straight. So now I'm just gonna cut these two sections. So it's really a personal preference if you do half of the floor, let it dry and then work on the other side, or you could just do the whole thing, you just have to back out and uh, hopefully you have two doors to your place. So otherwise I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, it's time to grout. So we've got half of this done right here. As you can see, this is open and this side is grouted and I've started wiping it off. So you wanna get your grout to a good consistency so that it's not too runny. So it's still kinda of like the mortar that you're putting in, but you wanna just rub that in these cracks. Fill those cracks in. Just like that. And then just clean up that grout and there you go there's your grout line and now once you get that done you'll have a little film on top of the tile that you want to clean off before it dries otherwise it'll be really hard to get off and just wipe it away lightly be careful over the grout lines 
That way you don't mess up the grout as you wipe. And just like that, you've got a newly tiled floor. Now you may have to go over this a couple more times with a sponge like this, rinse with a bucket, or just use the sink, but uh, to get that all that film off and any other grout uh, off, just keep wiping it away. All right, so here you go. Here is the finished project, almost finished. Put on a little metal right here, a little transition piece right there. And then the uh, only thing I have left to do is put a little like quarter round trim piece up against the cabinets and it will pretty much be done. Got another transition piece over here. But there you go, it's that simple. This is kind of what it looks up close, looks like up close. Got like a platinum is the color for the grout. Just need to probably clean it one more time. It might have just a little bit of a powdery matte finish right now, but one more good cleaning and it should be good to go. One more thing I'm gonna add is a sealer to the grout, which is always a good idea, but you need to use, need to go at least uh, 24 hours. Here's just a simple sealer. Protects grout against stains. So especially with a uh, light color grout like this, platinum, you know, if you spill, you know, grape juice, wine, cranberry juice, you know, any food or something with a strong, heavy uh, dye to it, you know, it could get in that grout, especially in the kitchen when you're cooking and stuff. So anyway, a simple sealer like this, use this brush right here. All right, so here we go. I'm doing a little of the sealing. And as you can see, maybe in the video, you can see the difference in the two colors. So this is not sealed. And this is sealed. That's what it looks like when you put it on. So it kind of, it darkens it up a little bit. Is just run it down at a good even speed. And it's okay if you get more on there because you're going to wipe it off. But we're just going to go down these lines like this. Okay, at a good speed. Like so. What I'm doing is two squares down and then I'll do the ones going across. That way you don't get lost while you work and you don't forget which ones you've already done. So that's all you gotta do. Let it sink in there for about five minutes or so. And then just take a, a, a rag, paper towel, or a um, chamois cloth or something like that and wipe off the excess that's on the tile itself. And you can put multiple coats on, just depends if you think you need it or not. So there you go, that's how you put on sealer. So there you go, I hope this video helped on a little home project. Make sure you check out my channel. I've got a lot of other videos on how to's and home projects and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully this video helped and thanks a lot, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.